What's good with y'all, man? It's Cam. Bring y'all another video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And let's get it, man. We are on demon time and as usual. Uh, so this video right here is going to be a part two to the video uh, title. Say this um, when you approach a woman, man. Y'all been asking for the part two. I said I was going to drop a part two, man. And here it is, dog. Uh, what to do when she comes over. Now, uh, just to go over, like, briefly what I was going over in the first part. Um... You know, when you approach chicks, understand that there's a few steps that you need to take in order to be successful, obviously. You know what I mean? Confidence, eye contact, uh, picking up on tools and signals, or if you cold approach, then I guess not. Uh, but that's you. Um, you feel me? Picking up on, my, on all these things. Um, you know, even if you're talking to her at a party club, whatever the case may be, making sure that the conversation always has some level of tension there. Uh, making sure that during the conversation, you know, if you're able to break the touch barrier, then do so. Um, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you wanna you wanted to be comfortable around her. You know what I'm saying? Get her get her comfortable. You feel me? You know what I mean? Like like like. And what I mean by comfortable is get her to the point where you know it's like she lets you break that touch barrier. You feel me? And all that type of stuff. But you can't do that unless she doesn't have if she don't got no interest in you, dog. But all of that is really covered in the first part, man. This is the second part, dog. So if you didn't watch that, go watch that right now. It's called uh uh say this when you approach women, you search my channel to be there somewhere, bro. Uh anyway, so boom, right? So you invited the chick to your crib or you took this chick back to your crib, whatever the case may be. Now, disclaimer, now number one, understand that everything needs consent dog we don't do no non-consensual things over here but we every do everything is with consent first of all man but uh with that being said man boom so she comes over right understand this dog confidence is always going to reign supreme confidence is always 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 going to be key it's always going to be key dog that's the difference between you a guy that doesn't get no females versus a guy like me you know what I'm saying? Who could have any chick that he wants in reality, right? Or a guy that's been on game for a minute who could have any chick that he wants because he knows how to run game. He knows how to up his volume and stuff like that, dog. Confidence is always the key, dog. The number one uh, uh, inhibitor, the number one thing that stops dudes like you from getting the box, bruh, is the fact that you lack confidence. You allow your nervousness to overcome you, dog. You can never let nervousness overcome you, dog. And actually, that, that's not even just with women. Understand that that's a life lesson, right? If you are in a situation where you need to perform at the best of your abilities, understand that you have to learn how to put your nerves to the side. You have to put your nerves to the side. You think basketball players in the NBA don't get nervous, right? Or maybe because they've been doing it for so long, they don't get nervous. But imagine a rookie that goes into his, his, his first season into the NBA. You think he's not nervous, bro? You think when a when a player in any kind of sport goes to a championship, he's not nervous to perform? You know what I'm saying? You at the Super Bowl, you think Matthew Stafford and 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 and, and Odell Beckham Jr. and and Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald, you think they didn't feel nerves, didn't have some emotions, but they put them to the side. They put them to the side. That's what we as men do. That's what we have to do. You know what I mean? Not even just nervousness. In any case, you know what I mean? You have to learn how to put your emotions to the side because ultimately emotions have never led to making good decisions they always lead to irrational decisions and because they lead to irrational decisions they very rarely lead to good outcomes meaning that you're not going to get what you want if you allow your emotions to take control if a chick comes over and you are nervous to the point where you know you uh, uh, you fumbling over your words you feel me all of this and you allowing that to take over there there's almost like a 90 percent chance that you won't get what you want let's just be real here let's just be real and let's also be real about this too, man. You know, in this modern society, people like to to, to play and be indirect, dog. Understand that being indirect is a, is a women's thing. Women love being indirect, emotional indirect. They're never. That's why. Why do you think a chick never is going to come up and approach you, dog? They love being indirect, dog. But let's make things clear. If a chick pulls up to your place, you as a man know exactly what you want. You want to smash, right? If y'all on that tip, you want to smash. Y'all want you 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 want to go crazy. You want to do your thing, bro. Nobody's knocking you for that, bro. But understand that even if she does want to smash as well, you cannot just stay straight up. Oh, let's just go. Oh, let's go. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Unless, unless, right? Y'all either already been on that wave and y'all maybe in a relationship, or if you got some kind of value, you may be able to get away with that. Maybe. However, 
even if y'all already agreed what y'all was going to do beforehand, bro, I understand that you still have to do, uh, 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 take the steps, man. You have to slow your road. You can't just automatically, because that's going to be an easy turn off. That's going to give her, see, if you have a chick come over and you automatically, oh, let's get to it, let's get to it. You're giving her an easy out to say no. You're giving her an easy out to say no. You're making it very easy for her to be like, uh, he's too thirsty. Understand that thirstiness is the number one or one of the one of the like top three turnoffs for chicks, bro. Number one. Yeah. Thirstiness is like the number one turnoff for chicks, bro. Never be thirsty, bro. You have to slow your roll, bro. Understand that when she comes over, the same principles that you apply in the dating game is the same principles apply that apply when you come uh, when she comes over, bro. They're the same principles. Even though you know what you want. You can't just outright say it. My bad, I spit everywhere. You can't just outright say it. You have to take things slowly, take things more indirect. So, boom, she show up at the door, right? You know, with a nice hello, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hello, how you doing? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You know what I mean? You you in the crib, whatever. Put on a movie, something like that. But something real simple. See, a lot of guys really overthink this. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? And then you, you, you sit on the bed and say nothing, and it's mad awkward for, like, however long until something actually happens bro you don't have to overthink it the reason why netflix and chill is so overused and very popular is because it, it, it's something that works it's a method that works you know what i'm saying like why you know what i mean why 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 not watch a movie or something like that watch a tv show turn on netflix watch tinder swindle or something like that bro you know what i'm saying maybe you even you, you you might even let her pick the movie whatever man let her get comfortable even ask if she wants some water whatever the case may be you know what I'm saying? You want her to be comfortable, right? And the only way for her to be comfortable is for you to be comfortable, right? If you're nervous, she's going to feed off of that energy. Women are emotional. We know that. So she's going to feed off of that nervous energy when she uh, when she come over. She's going to see that in you. She's going to be like, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Right? So with that being said, you have to be comfortable. You got to be comfortable. You got to know what you're doing. And understand this too, dog. When she comes over, please... Don't <laughs> make sure your place is clean, right? You don't want to. You don't want her to come over to a dirty place, like you know what I mean. Make sure that your place is clean. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe put some put, spray some Febreze or something like that. Some candles. Uh, uh, whatever you got to do, man. Keep the place clean, dog. You don't want her to be walking into some dirty room, some dirty house. You want to give off good, positive, comfortable vibes. You feel me? So boom, she walk in. Y'all watch a TV, whatever the case may be. Understand that. You know, whatever you put on, make sure you don't put something on that you actually want to watch or something that you're actually invested in. Because ultimately, that's not what matters. The TV show or the movie that you put on has no effect, right? So just put on whatever, you know what I'm saying? Something simple, nothing too, nothing too you know, plot-driven or anything like that. Just something very simple that you could just watch mindlessly, okay? Now, understand that the whole time that y'all sitting there watching, your attention is like, maybe like, 30% on what's going on on the screen, mainly on her. Now, what do I mean by that? You want to give her subtle attention. Subtle attention is important here because you want to give off, how do I put this? You want to give off like subtle signs of what you want to do, right? Because we know women are indirect, so we got to play the game. Boom. Touch barrier. Touch barrier, touch barrier, touch barrier is a big thing that you can break right here. It's the easiest way to break it. Y'all watching TV, it's easy, bro. Boom. Like, get up closer, put your arm around her, whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? And some of y'all is going to be like, oh, my God, Kim, that's too much. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. I'm too nervous. I don't have the confidence to put my arm around her. Bro, she's at your crib, bro. She's at your crib. We know women is indirect, but let's be real. She wouldn't show up if there, if you didn't have a chance. Like, let's be real, bro. She wouldn't show up if she didn't have some level of interest in you, dog. Break that touch barrier. If you haven't already, do it. Do it while y'all watching TV or whatever. Just sitting there chilling. You feel me? So, boom, right? You got your arm around her. You already broke the touch barrier. You feel me? Now, I told you it's important to put something on that's not too, you know what I mean, too, you know, attention grabbing and stuff like that. Because of this, start a conversation. Start a little bit of a conversation. You feel me? You know what I mean? And it could be about whatever, you know what I'm saying? But obviously you want to keep the tension, right? Now, how do you keep the tension? Understand that there's a few logistical things here, right? When it comes to your voice, not everyone has a super deep voice. However, you do have a relaxed voice. You do have a confidence voice. There's a difference when someone is talking with confidence and someone is talking when they're nervous, right? 
it's the speed of the voice, right? It's the speed of how fast are you talking, right? The tone of your voice, all of that plays into effect. You want to make sure that your voice is relaxed, right? Some dudes call it seduction mode, whatever, whatever. You whatever you want to call it, bro. You want to make sure that you're relaxed, right? You're just talking to her, you know what I mean, calmly, you know, slowly, whatever the, whatever the case may be. You having conversation. You continuing to uh, break that touch barrier. You got your arm around her, whatever the case may be, right? Okay. So all that is happening. You sparking up conversation with her, right? The conversation can really be about anything. Like, as long as it's not about like homework or school, it can really be about anything, dog. But it's not so much about what you're saying. It's how you're saying it, right? How you're saying it is a huge, huge, huge part of it, bro. Now, another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're making eye contact with her, right? You want to make eye contact with her. This is a big key. Women love eye contact. Eye contact mixed with uh, mixed with you breaking the touch barrier, mixed with you uh, your voice is in relaxed mode, mixed with the fact that your house is comfortable and everything. You know what I'm saying? You just set the mood. You know what I mean? You got like a show on or whatever, but that's not the main. Understand that this is a, a very... If you get to this point, it's a very, very good chance that you're going to... You know what I mean? You're going you gonna to get what you want, bro. You're going to hit the box, bro. So, boom. You're talking to her in relaxed mode, okay? Now, at this point, a conversation is going on, right? Now, depending on the logistics of where you at, let's say that you're in the living room or something like that. Now is when you want to start to escalate to another level, right? So when you escalate to that next level, you can be like, oh, you know what I mean? Let's move somewhere a little bit more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Let's get somewhere more comfortable, whatever, right? You move up to the bedroom. Or if you're already in the bedroom, then I guess you can cut that whole step out, right? But if you're not already where you want to be, this is the time where you're like, okay, you know what I mean? Let's, let, let's, let's move somewhere, somewhere a little bit more comfortable, you know what I'm saying? So boom, you move somewhere more comfortable. Now this is the part where a lot of dudes got the game messed up, dog. This is the part where a lot of y'all fumble the bag, where you literally right there, but the issue is you don't know what to say, you don't know what to do. What I need you to understand when you get to this point is that women either do not know how to or don't want to initiate intimacy. Let me say it again. Women either don't know how to or don't want to initiate intimacy, bruh. Number one, they don't know how to. A lot of chicks do not understand how to escalate. They don't, because a lot of chicks don't have game at all. At all, in any way. They don't have game in the bedroom. They don't have game when it comes to dating. They don't have game because they've never needed game. When's the last time you've seen a chick that needed game? Even chicks that, that that's like a 2 out of 10 or whatever. I mean, looks are subjective, but... If a chick is, you know what I mean, not super attractive looking, she still doesn't have to have game. She's going to be able to get with whoever because there's mad dudes out there. She don't have game. So a lot of times, chicks may not even know how to escalate. You got to do it, number one. Number two, she may not want to do it. Understand that, you know, a traditional feminine woman, right, she going to wait for you to do it. Even modern women, they going to wait for you to do it, bro. They wait for you to approach them. The most a woman shoots her shot is choose the signals. Looking at you for a few seconds, staring at you, thinking about you, man, trying to manifest you. You think she going to initiate intimacy? No. You got to do it. You got to do it. So the key here is confidence. Boom. You in the bedroom, whatever the case may be. Understand that there's a couple ways you can go about this. This first way is one that I used to spam. I spam this. Even before I had game, I spam this, bro. So boom. Y'all chilling. Y'all laying there, whatever. You know what I mean? Y'all y'all having conversation. You continuing to look at her in the eyes, breaking the touch barrier. You know what I'm saying? Y'all close. Make sure that you are close proximity to her. You feel me? Y'all in a comfortable position. I spam this, bruh. Ask for a massage. Hey, my back kind of my back kind of sore. Let me get a massage. That even though listen, bruh. Listen, bruh. If you don't know what to do or if you inexperienced, even if you are experienced and you just, you know what I mean, you just wanna, you know what I mean, hurry up and escalate. A massage is one of the easiest ways to get to that. You want to know why? Because, boom, she, she giving you a massage, right? Let's say, you know, let me get like a little back massage or whatever. Don't, don't jump to, oh, my God, oh, yeah, massage my, massage. Like, bro, let me get like a little back massage, you feel me? Boom. She giving you the back massage. Take your shirt off. Boom. You know what I mean? Now she got you. Yeah, her hands on your back, you feel me? Y'all already, uh, you know what I mean, at a, at a somewhat intimate level, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can even turn around, you know what I'm saying? She rub on your chest, whatever the case may be. And then you can escalate from there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already close, and you can just make the move, bruh. If, you know what I mean? Like, like you just make the move, because y'all already in close proximity. You know what I'm saying? You got your shirt off, bruh. Boom, just, you know what I'm saying? 
Go from there. So that's one route that you can go. And that's one that I spam, dog. You can even give her a massage, too. You can go, are you giving me a massage or I'm going to give you a massage? That can even, you that might even be easier. Because now you give her a massage, understand that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you touching her in, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You touching her in the right places when you give him massages and stuff like that. And that's an easy way to escalate. Understand that when it comes to physical touch, bro, when it comes to stuff like that, a woman that's not interested in having and smashing you, bro, is not going to even let you do that. She won't even let you get close. If she let you get to the point where y'all massaging each other, bro, she want like she nine times out of ten, she probably wants to smash. She probably wants to smash, bro. Nine times out of ten, let's be real. Like let's like, like like let me break it down. Let's say that you had, uh, uh, let's say you had a girlfriend, and your girlfriend was getting a massage from not a professional massage, not from no masseuse. I'm talking about getting a a, a intimate massage from one of her dude friends that you let her have, one of her guy friends. Wouldn't you kind of look at them funny? Like yo, you rubbing on my girl legs? Like you kind of getting close to the? You know what I'm saying? Like. That would be weird to you, right? You'd be like, something's going on. You know, something probably is going on if that happens. Because let's be real. She's not going to allow that level of intimacy if she's not already on that level, on that mindset, dog. Now, another thing too, right? All of this that I told y'all to do, right? It, it's going to be up here in her mind. She'll be like, oh, I'm comfortable. Oh, he doing all this. Oh, he, do, oh, he doing all the right things, right? He doing all the right things. He's holding eye contact, all of this, all of that. It's gonna play in her mind like that. That's the whole experience. Understand that, you know, smash it like sex. That all it sex is more than just, you know what I mean, the physical action, bro. It's the whole vibe that you set. The whole vibe. If you do all of this right, she probably gonna want to come back, dog. If you do everything right, dog, she probably gonna want to come back. Let's keep it real, bro. Let's keep it real. Now, I told y'all that the massage is an easy way to get there, right? Another way, dog. Y'all could be just sitting there. Y'all could be talking, like, you know what I mean. You, you know what I mean. You start rubbing on her a little bit. You know what I'm saying. You're looking at her in her eyes, whatever. You know what I'm saying. And then you just go straight for the move. You go straight for the move. You just feel it in the moment. You know what I'm saying. You look at her in her eyes. You feel me. Conversation starts to slow. You lean in, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Something like that. It's more of a. You just gotta feel it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta feel the rhythm. You know what I'm saying? That's that that extra that requires extreme confidence. You know what I'm saying? Massage, you can go the massage route if you don't have as much confidence. But if you do, you know what I'm saying, you could, you know what I mean? You could just kind of go for it a little bit more. You feel me? Either way, they both work. Either way, you already in a position to where you're probably gonna get what you want. Let's be real. Alright. Now the thing is too, some chicks understand that some chicks will play games right and what do i mean by this especially modern women dog some chicks will play games to where you have them at the crib you know what i'm saying she been flirting with you this whole time been flirting with you whatever right and it's about that time to to get going to you know what i'm saying get to the d and she talk about oh um no nah, i'm not i'm not no nah, i'm good i'm good or she say something like, oh, I'm on my, my cycle, whatever the case may be. Now, what I want you to understand is that if this happens and she rejects you, the number one thing to remember is never get upset. Never get upset. Because the, the thing that you can't do, you can't force a chick to do anything. We don't condone that over here, right? But never get upset. Never let her see that you're mad, ever. Because that's when she knows that, that's, that's when she knows that she wins, bro. Never get upset at that. All you do is say, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Right. And now this is now I'm talking about a chick that you you know, what I mean, this is either a rotation chick or a chick that you just met, whatever the case may be. You say, all right, cool. Right. Go ahead and see her at the house. Let her hit you up. See, because what you have to understand is that when you do that, she's going to be like, oh, why you not? Why you not fighting for me? Whatever. Why he not doing this? Why not doing this? That's going to play in her mind. Right. And next time she come over. Right. She may not be on game. She may not be on BS if you just let her go. See, that's the opposite of thirstiness. That's the opposite of thirstiness. You let her go and you don't hit her up. You don't text her, whatever. You know what I'm saying? She's just wasting your time. You ain't got all the you ain't got the energy for that. In fact, when she hits you up again, see what happens when you don't respond. See what happens when you don't want to hang out. She's going to push harder and harder and harder to get your attention. You feel me? But anyway, man, that's all I got for y'all today. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, man. I love y'all and I'm out of here, dog. Peace.